today is your first day and what is today just been a meeting? Um, well I'm, I'm a gardener, I suppose the complicated name is horticulturalist and I know a bit about plants so I teach a lot of people how to sort of um, grab hold of the gardens and get growing in them basically so I'm working with um, this group to sort of um, grab hold of these spaces which at the moment are quite kind of uh, geometrical you know they're just um, squares of, of grass and trying to break them up and use them because at the moment they're not being used they're just being maybe sat in and that's it. You were keen on um, having a like a an area for a barbecue as well pathways. We've got to enjoy the garden haven't you as well. Um, you got to enjoy One it way, absolutely yeah. it's not all about hard work. Put, put planters all along here and maybe put in things like gooseberry bushes and fruit bushes but things that are a bit brighter as well so it looks nice when people come in the entrance. What are you doing on the other side? Around the back. Oh, this a, here. On this side. I'm not sure, I think it just needs maybe... It needs tidying up for starters and again, maybe some low maintenance things, things that are bushes that are not going to take too much looking after. And stuff in the back as well. Yeah, around the back. There's going to be an area where people can use for like a barbecue or for cooking and things and people are just planning to maybe put fruit trees in there and grow vegetables and some sensory things as well. So maybe things that attract more wildlife and birds and um, insects and things like that. What I'm going to do now, if you wanted to take some seeds away with you, I'm going to make a seed packet. Yeah? What we're doing today, we've got some draft plans based on all the ideas that all the people who've been involved want to do. And we've got some recycled timber that are going to be planters. Now what we're trying to do is just mark out the space so that everybody can see how it, how it might work. So for example, these we're going to have chunky recycled wood, we're going to have a pergola in the middle, Along the back there'll be more of a wildflower area, area yeah, I know, and attracting insects and ladybirds. Um, the area at the front, people would like a, a place where you can sit and chill and maybe have some food and cups of tea. So a bit of a barbecue area. Some hebees, so lavender and hebe bees absolutely love that. Um, and they turn really beautiful colours and there's some aliens as well and of course some poppies. Ah, and echinacea. Um, that's lovely. And um, the bees love these in particular. But they're also there's some. Um, anyone watch Grow Your Own Drugs? Yeah. BBC. Yeah, it's great, great, isn't it? Yeah. And there's all sorts of things, um, properties that echinacea have um, for health. Um, you know, there's all sorts of things going on there with the seed heads and um, things like that. So I mean, all these plants actually, probably a, a, a huge majority of them have medicinal benefits. Um, the Vabascum is used in a preparation, I think was it for ears? Yeah. Last night. Um, lavender's great for yeah, getting nice your sleep. Um, it's also good for burns. Rosemary is even better for sleep. Really knock you out, blimey. Um, so there's all sorts of things there for you to choose from. What I'd like you to do is grab one or two plants and have a think about where you want to put them.